Welcome to CIEgroup.com. I'm Kevin Cray, Technical Director of CYP Europe. Today we're looking at our new PU16 HBT, a 16 by 16 HDMI HD base C matrix. This of course is a true matrix where any input can be routed to any output independently of what the other zones are watching. It's got support for Full HD, plus 3D of course, and has a wide range of RGBHV resolutions up to WUXGA. It also of course supports high definition audio like Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master. The HD Base D outputs are up to 100 meters on the CAT cable. It has advanced EDID management system. The matrix itself is controlled via either the front buttons, a front IR panel, a rear IR input, IP, RS232, and it also has our standard web GUI. As well as this control, it offers some other third-party control. It's got two-way IR, so you can control the sources and the screens or other third-party equipment in the zones. As well as this, it also has RS232 and IP routing. This function allows you to send a command into the matrix, either via RS232 or via Telnet, to be outputted to an individual HD Base T receiver via the HD Base T receiver's RS232 output. So it's acting as an IP to RS232 converter as well. Other functions that are included are it has a recall function to recall some of your favourite settings, it has a backup PSU in case the main PSU goes down, it has temperature diagnostics so you can check its temperature in the location. It can be used with any of our HD Base T receivers, just check the correct receiver for the functions and system that you require. Let's have a look in a little bit more detail on the PU16HBT. We've got the front panel here with its buttons. Obviously you have an IR receiver hidden behind the panel. You have various buttons to allow you to control the unit, including power, menu, navigation buttons, and then numeric buttons for input and output assignment along with your input and output button and your enter. As well as that you have the save and recall buttons that where you are able to save your favorite setups and recall them at the touch of a button and a lock button that allows you just to lock the entire front panel. Now let's take a look at the rear panel of the matrix. Firstly we have the two power supplies the main and the backup power supply. These are hot swappable for convenience if you ever do have a power supply that goes down. We have various boards in the unit. Starting in the middle here, this is our control board that has the main CPU on board for the matrix. First of all, you have output zero, which is a monitor output for the engineer and installer whilst installing. You have a service port, uh, master IR in and out, your RJ45 for control, RS232 and an IR input which is solely for controlling the matrix. On the lower section we have our input boards. So here we can see we have two boards with eight HDMI inputs each. They each have their own LED for telling you that you are getting input synchronization. To the top of the unit you have your output boards. Full HD base T outputs, the 100 meter range. On each output, you have a link and a mode light, IR inputs and outputs for routing your IR for your source control or your screen or third party control at the zone. Everything you would normally expect to see on an HD base T matrix. The PU16 HBT is available from CIEgroup.com. Thank you.